The moment in Russia does not stop for a moment. The effects of the war in Ukraine continue to be felt on Russian soil. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin announced that two armed drone attacks on the capital were foiled. Ukraine continues to attack Moscow, the capital of Russia, one after another. The mayor of Moscow announced that two armed drones attempted to attack Moscow. According to Sobyanin, both drones were shut down by air defense systems. It was stated that one drone was destroyed on the Minsk Highway and the other in the Mododowa region. According to preliminary findings so far, no injuries have been reported due to the downed drone fragments. Authorities continue to work at the scene of the incidents. Russian officials have previously reported that Ukraine had carried out drone strikes against Moscow. But these attacks did not cause any casualties or injuries. Russia has stated that Ukraine carried out drone strikes since against Moscow on July 24, 28, 30, August 1 and 6. Before Russia could recover from the shock of these attacks, a huge explosion occurred in the capital Moscow. In the Sergei Posad district of the capital Moscow, there was a huge explosion at on observation devices and binoculars. The explosion was so big that the windows of buildings next to factory were shattered by blasts. While the mayor of Sergei Posad confirmed the explosion, the cause of the explosion was not disclosed. Russian news agency also confirmed the information about the explosion. According to agency, a full evacuation was announced due to the explosion. Security forces and the head of districts arrived at the scene. The factory where the explosion occurred is one of the oldest optical mechanical plants. It produces optical aviation sites, thermal direction finders, homing heads, laser detection stations, observation devices, as well as night vision devices, binoculars, etc. According to some military analysts, since Ukraine's counteroffensive has not been fully successful, Kiev has changed its strategy and started to carry out sabotage operations on Russian territory. In particular, in Russia's Belgorod Oblast, pro-Ukrainian Russian groups are carrying out many offensive operations. What do you think about the developments? How do you interpret the recent attacks on Russian territory? Will these attacks increase in the future? We are waiting for your views. Also, for more news, continue by clicking on our video on the top right.